211 degrees, water is hot. But at 212 degrees, it boils. And with boiling water comes steam. And steam can power a locomotive. One degree. Raising the temperature of water by one extra degree means the difference between something that is simply very hot and something that generates enough force to power a machine. This is a beautiful, uncomplicated metaphor that ideally should feed our every endeavor, consistently pushing us to make the extra effort in every task we undertake. 212 degrees serves as a forceful drill sergeant with its motivating and focused <clears throat> message while adhering to a scientific law, a natural law. It reminds us that seemingly small things can make a tremendous difference. So simple is this analogy that you can stop reading and listening to me right now and walk away with the opening thought firmly planted in your mind and beneath from it for the rest of your life. The purpose of this speech is to help you internally define and take ownership of the most fundamental principles behind achieving life results beyond your expectations. A simple idea with a singular focus and an actionable focus. 212 degrees. It's this dramatic three numbers joined together to form one crystallizing message. A message that absolutely assures life-altering positive results for those who choose to apply it. Reams of material are written and taught with an approach to reaching an end by close to effortless means. And more will be written. Advertising messages continually promote methods of achieving end results with little or no effort. And this material and these messages are so effective that in many cases, people will work harder to avoid the extra effort than to actually apply the effort that will produce the originally desired outcome. Great materials with solid approaches to results have also been created and taught. Unfortunately, action on the part of the reader student in so many cases is the missing ingredient, action. And for those individuals who do take action, there are even a smaller number who make the extra effort necessary to reach the desired results that were originally set to be achieved. Books are purchased, programs are attended, clubs are joined with wonderful intentions of putting forth the effort to achieve. Only to the end in another block of time invested half-heartedly -heart with appropriately corresponding results. Why? Why do we enter in into an activity with anything but a commitment? A commitment to achieve your objective of that activity. Not a desire to achieve your, uh, your objective, but a commitment. 212 degrees is not only a message of action, it's a message of persistent and additional action. The continual application of heat, which is effort, to whatever task or activity you undertake in order to achieve not only the primary objective you seek, but to reap the exponential rewards that are possible by applying one degree of extra effort. How many opportunities have you missed because you were not aware of the possibilities that would occur if you applied a small amount of effort beyond what you normally do? People develop personal habits towards action and rarely attempt to develop them further and continually. Unless someone engages in frequent self-review or an external source, a friend, a book, a manager, a spouse, an article, brings something to one's attention, a person will continue throughout life making very small improvements, if any at all. Now you are aware of 212 degrees, the extra degree. No longer will you be able to do only what is required of you and only what is expected of you, because with this awareness comes responsibility. 
and you are now aware. You know, you now have a target for everything you do. You may not always be able to turn up the heat and hit the boiling point, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't make the attempt. It's what you advise others to do, and it's what you should teach your children. 211 degrees can serve a purpose, but 212 degrees is the extra degree. The extra degree that will bring exponential results. Results to you and those you touch throughout your days. At 211 degrees, water is hot. At 212 degrees, it boils. And with boiling water comes steam and steam can power a locomotive. <clears throat> it's your life. You are responsible for your result. And it's time to turn up the heat. From this day forward, commit to operating at 212 degrees in everything you do. Etch it into your thinking, into your being. Apply it to your actions. It guarantees to increase your results positively and in so many cases, increase your results. In professional golf tournaments, they're comprised of four rounds of 18 holes played over a four-day period, 72 holes total. There are four major tournaments in the year, the US Open, the British Open, the PGA Championship, and the Masters. The average margin of victory between 1980 and 2004, over 25 years in all the tournaments combined, was less than three strokes. Less than one stroke difference per day. From 2000 through 2004, five years, the winner across all tournaments took home an average of 76 more in prize dollars than the second place finishers. Three strokes. George S. Patton, an American soldier and general who lived 1885 to 1945, fear, courage is fear holding on a minute longer. Vince Lombardi, a Hall of Fame football coach who lived 1913 to 1970 said, inches make a champion. Many of life's failures Excuse me, this is Thomas Edison. Many of life's failures are men and women who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. To get what we've never, excuse me, this is by anonymous. To get what we've never had, we must do what we've never done. The margin for victory between Olympic gold medals and no medal medals at all is an extremely small amount, sometimes one hundredth of a second. In the women's 800 meter in 2004, the margin of victory was 0.13 seconds. I don't think I can blink that fast. This is by Albert Hubbard. The line between failure and success is so fine that we are often on the line and do not know it. How many a person has thrown up her hands and his hands at a time when a little more effort, a little more patience would have achieved success? A little more effort and what seemed hopeless failure may turn into glorious success. 212 degrees is an attitude. And the only thing that stands between a person and what they want in life is the will to try it and the faith to believe it is possible. Two hundred and twelve degrees, it's a commitment. If you will spend an extra hour each day of study in your chosen field, you will be a national expert in that field in less than five years. Not too long ago, I had an opportunity to hear Jim Cathcart speak to a corporate audience. Jim is a good friend and a great speaker, and he told the story of how listening to a radio program over 25 years ago changed his life forever. 
and I'm going to share this with you. In 1972, Jim was working at Little Rock, Arkansas Housing Authority, making $525 a month. With a new wife and a baby at home, no college degree, no past successes, and not much hope for the foreseeable future. One morning, he was sitting in his office listening to the radio to a program called Our Changing World by Earl Nightingale, who was known as the Dean of Personal Development. That day, Nightingale, in his booming voice, said something that would change Jim's life forever. And what I just said, if you spend an extra hour each day of study in your chosen field, you will be a national expert in that field in five years or less. Jim was stunned, but the more he thought about it, the more it made sense. And although he had never given a speech, he had always wanted to help people grow in areas of personal development and motivation. He began his quest to put Nightingale's theory to the test by reading books, listening to tapes whenever he could. He also started exercising and joined a self-improvement study group. He persisted through weeks of temptations to quit just by doing a little more each day to further his goal. Within six months, he had learned more than he had in five years of college. And he began to believe he could turn his goal into in, of becoming a motivational speaker into reality. All that hard work, the discipline and study paid off, and Jim has now delivered more than 2,500 speeches worldwide and has won every major award in the speaking industry. Just like companies have market value, so do people. In the simplest terms, your market value increases by knowing and doing more. You see, Jim really understood one of the favorite laws in life. You cannot get what you've never had unless you're willing to do what you've never done. He understood the power of the 212 degree commitment. The 212 degree challenge is to step out of your comfort zone in different areas. If you do this once each week, you will have so many opportunities for excitement, challenge, and possibility. That's what life is about. If you meet one person each week, over a course of a year, you will have met over 50 people and your life will have been enriched. Don't forget 212 degrees. Involvement and reminders drive continual awareness and with the awareness comes responsibility and action. Let the number 212 degrees serve as your constant reminder. It's your new way of thinking. It's your new way of acting. Write it down with fervor and leave it wherever it might serve you best, wherever you might need a prompt to extra action for just. Write it down and leave it wherever it might serve you best, wherever you may need a prompt to extra action or just action itself, your bathroom mirror, the dashboard of your car, in your cube at work, on your refrigerator, above the door of your workout room. It's time to turn up. It's time to turn up the heat. Go to work. <laughs>